First, roll out three half inch tubes of clay, translucent, white, and a 50-50 mixture of purple and translucent. Roll small spheres of white and purple clay, flattening them into discs. Arrange two of each color discs in a square pattern. Stack the discs in three or four more layers. Then roll spheres of translucent clay and alternate stacking translucent discs in place of the white discs. Using your hands, compress the stack. Roll the compressed stack into a tube. Twist the tube to stretch the pattern. Compress the twisted tube again. Roll and compress until you see a pattern that appeals to you. Using a pointed tool, lightly make streaks in the clay, always streaking in the same direction. Smooth the streaks and continue streaking until you like the look, twisting if you need to. With an acrylic roller, roll the tube out to the size that suits your design. Cover the clay sheet with a piece of plastic wrap. You do this to round the edges when you actually cut the clay. Before cutting the clay, place your cutter over the clay and decide what patterns you like. Once you've decided on the patterns, place the clay cutter on the plastic wrap and press down to cut the clay. Remove the excess clay and using your fingers, smooth the edges. You will also be sanding your baked pendant, so don't get too picky here. Bake the pendants according to the manufacturer's directions. I use this pack of 30 to 1 micron polishing papers. I found that because I'm going to apply resin to my pendants, I only needed to use the 30, 15, and 9 micron papers. If you want a shiny finish without resin, you can use the 3, 2, and 1 micron papers additionally. Whichever polishing papers you use, be sure to put on a face mask so you don't inhale clay dust. Then polish your pendants until you reach your desired finish.
Once I had sanded my pendants, I applied a coat of two-part resin to the front of each pendant. I then glued gold bales to the back of each pendant and attached a gold chain using a gold split ring.